Hey everybody, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today we're looking at Alliterati. This was on crowdfunding recently, but they sent me a prototype after the campaign had finished. And I'm going to do a quick solo playthrough and then give my impressions of the game, because you can still lay back it if you're interested. But a reminder that we never accept compensation for our coverage on the One Stop Co-op Shop. We just want to help you make an informed decision. And if you like our content, consider supporting us through Patreon. You get early access to our videos and exclusive videos every month. Like I just ranked all 48 Fantasy Flight games that I've ever played in my entire life. You can also check out our separate streaming channel for even more content, our weekly podcast, or join the conversation and chat with us on our Discord channel. So how I would describe Alliterati is basically <laughs> cooperative real-time survival Scrabble, because you and possibly other players, although I'm playing solo, are given a bunch of letters and you're trying to form a series of words uh, just in front of you. There is no board. And specifically, you're trying to match requirements on these book cards so that you can bind the books. Like uh, what this one means is I want to make words that are modes of transportation. Not all of my words, just some of them. And the words that are modes of transportation need to add up to eight or more letters. And at least three of those letters need to have orange icons on the bottom, like this E uh, here right now, or this Q, which has all of the icons. Once I bind a red book, I can then bind a blue book. Once I bind both of those, I can do a final chapter where it's even tougher. And then I win the game. And in multiplayer, we each have our own books. We're all trying to bind at the same time, but we can share our letters. And we also have a shared area called the library that can hold up to three letters. So let's say I like made some words. Clearly, uio is <laughs> not a word and neither is Kwai, but uh, you know, that actually is a word. But let's say that I put these in my library because you can hold up to three letters at this difficulty level. Uh, these letters would kind of be protected, but this is a shared area for all the players. Everything else has to be words. If you can't make that happen, if you can't form enough words so that only three letters between all players are in the library, then you have to burn all your extra letters and one of them goes on this burn tracker. And again, based on your difficulty, you will eventually reach this bird and lose the game. You can also lose the game if you go through the entire Illiterati deck. These are the enemies uh, kind of conspiring against you. And how it works is generally each turn you're going to draw a single one. And they come in five types, each with five cards. So here this is Fiora Ironclad the Welder. And they'll do things like force you to discard letters or entire words and mess up like kind of what you're going for as you build to finish up your books. And the key thing is if you ever draw another one, then you get a chain. So you're going to activate every Fiora card. And then, oh my gosh, I should shuffle these better. Now I would activate three Fiora cards on the next turn. So they'll kind of build up and chain and chain more and make the game tougher and tougher if you're not winning quickly enough. And all this is time. This is a three minute timer. So I'm just going to kind of have it in the corner and hopefully the uh, camera will kind of show you what's going on with it. And yeah, we're going to play this in real time. We'll see how things go. Again, I'm playing on sort of the normal difficulty setting. Uh, one more quick rules note, uh, once per round, you can discard up to seven of your letters and then draw an equal number of replacements. But if you do that, you draw an extra alliterati card at the end of the turn. Although the second card drawn will not chain with existing cards of that type and identity. All right, so let's see my first card. And again, you ignore the final chapter until you're actually about to win the game. Uh, Fandom of the Soap Opera. I need to do eight plus letters of movies, TV shows and theater productions. This is one I should be good at, but <laughs> I'll tell you for free, these red cards that require me to like remember brand names and titles and stuff, I'm just terrible at. Uh, so <laughs> we'll try to survive. And we need uh, three hearts. And I'll just kind of keep that on over there to the side. And usually you're not going to be able to bind a book to complete uh, one of your goals on the first turn you have it. Uh, often you're going to kind of just try to get words that will have letters that can work towards it. And then as you get more letters kind of in your supply overall, you can make it happen. But uh, without looking at my letters too much, let's go ahead and go. Cool, you can kind of see it. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I got so many E's, so many vowels. Um, hmm. D, yeah, these are not bead. That's a good word. Okay, and then I do not have anywhere near enough continents, do I? I think I'm going to have to, <laughs> unless I want to burn right away, I think I'm going to have to discard some. So I definitely don't need a billion E's. Q, you are not good for me. Um, I don't even know how you spell bead. I don't even know. Uh, and I don't know, the U I'll get rid of as well. Okay, so I'm getting rid of four letters. Again, this is going to make me draw an extra literati. This has to happen in real time, by the way, so you can't, like, stop the timer while you're doing this. And I'll draw four more letters. C, O, O, and a wild, and a Z, a Z. Well, I guess we got zoo. Yay! And, um, what is a three-letter word? Well, I guess we've already got three for our library. Now... Movies, TV shows, and theater productions. I mean, should I even be worrying about it yet? I don't think I should. Um, 
I'm still not sure if that's how, I feel like it's not how you spell bead. I feel like I'm just a total uh, cheater there. So here, we'll say uh, bead. I don't even, I, gosh, is it an A or an E? Why do I feel so dumb right now? <laughs> now, um, CIA, you can't do those kind of things. You can't do proper nouns unless it's part of your book. Then you're allowed to kind of break the rules. Like then you can have apostrophes and stuff. Um, but these will be in my library. They cannot be affected by the alliterati card. And by the way, I didn't say, but each uh, word has to be at least three letters. That's why I'm not doing like, I don't know. I mean, is there a <laughs> ack? No. Uh, all right. So we're going to stop there. And uh said a lot of time left. So we'll just uh, kind of let that run out. And then if I was able to finish this book, I would do so. Although it's very important to note that you cannot bind a book the same turn that you burned, that you had more than three letters left over. So you can't like go crazy uh, building the exact words you need without making the rest of the words at least be something valid. But we'll go to our first alliterati card. Professor Absalom Foss, the glorious leader. The wizard dies at the end. If you have any words with two or more of the same letter, discard two letters from any of your words. Okay, zoo and maybe bead. I'm still feeling dumb about that. So I have to discard any two letters. And I can look at these. Now, these cannot be affected by him, but uh, I can at least like see what I have. So I think I want to keep the wild. I mean, that seems like a great one. I uh, probably don't need two O's. And yeah, Z, get out of here. <laughs> Unless now I'm going to suddenly realize that the perfect movie started with Z and I'll be done. But it's okay. And you only check to see if you burn from having too many letters uh, before the illiterati attack. So like the fact that now I just have an O sitting here doesn't really matter. It's not like uh, messing me up because I don't have complete words now. All right, now I get 10 more letters. And at this point, I probably have enough to actually like realistically try to complete my thing. And let's go. All right. So uh, movies, TV shows and theater productions. Uh, <laughs> OK, I uh, see so like. Hmm. Cruella, right? Isn't that like. I mean, they made a movie, right, with her in the dress. Okay, so that's already seven letters. I think it was just called Cruella, right? The one with, like, Emma Stone or whatever. Um, that's only one red, though. So I would need another movie, TV show, or theater production. That's at least one letter, clearly, because <laughs> eight plus. Um, can't, like, do rent, can I? Uh, <laughs> let's see. E. No, I definitely do not have the letters for that. I want a short title. Um, <sighs> terrible, these kind of things. Uh, Y'all can yell at me and, and yell at your screen as you think of all the excellent answers that Mike could be doing right now. You can even type them in the comments and just let me know why I'm dumb. Um, hmm. Let's see. There was a movie, Mud. Once again, I don't have the letters and they wouldn't be read anyway. I mean, okay. Um, do, 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 do. This is entertaining television, everyone. Mike looking dumb. Lonesome Dove. <laughs> Is there a show just called, like, Dove? Dope. Dope. Dope is a movie. Dope is a really good movie. Y'all should see Dope. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, Dope, dope and Cruella. Uh, that'll take care of me. Uh, I actually got a little lucky with this card because I do teach films, so maybe I'm slightly better at this than some other ones. And that's one, two, three reds. Okay, so I'm good. Now I need to use these letters. Oh, crud. You know, I just realized I forgot to do a second alliterati last turn because I uh, burned. So I'll just do, like, two alliterati this turn. I know it's not really fair, but it's too late to stop it now. Um, let's see, you can dab, right? And then like a dance move thing. And then a really bad spelling of which. Uh, <laughs> okay, I need to, crud, running out of time. Uh, uh, w wick, um, wide, width. Uh, no, I don't want to use a curse word here. Um, that one, I don't have an H anyway. Uh, had, okay, had. And then, bick, kib. Quib. It's not even how you spell it, although I think I feel like that is a word. Oh gosh, come on. Come on, Mike. You can do this. Um <laughs> if I can just make a four-letter word, then it won't matter. Um Hade. Wade, but that's not how you spell it. Oh gosh. Uh um they de day high. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um back back bake bay bad baddy. Betty. Um <laughs> oh, I love this is on film. Is this great? Uh oh, come on. No, I'm almost out, no, don't run out of time. Come on. Ah okay, I'm out of time. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so because I oh my gosh. Uh because I did not have these letters and I even like finished putting them into a word, all these get discarded except one randomly will stay to get burned, which is D. So there we go for that. I'm one fourth of the way to losing. 
But the nastier thing is now I got to draw some literati and they're going to mess up my words. And I'm going to draw two just because I messed up last time. It's only fair. So each player must discard two letters that have icons. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I don't want to get rid of the reds. U's are going to be really hard to get again. Um, uh, E and R. Okay. Sorry, Cruella. And then... Each player discards one word beginning with a vowel, or each player discards one word beginning with a consonant. Are you serious? An entire <sighs> Okay. Now, does Corella still count? It's not a word anymore. I think I have to discard dope. I should have discarded one letter from there. <laughs> okay, everything's great. Everything's great. Foiled. One more to lose it. <laughs> Embarrassed on national television. Here we go. All right, so boom. Uh, yeah, let's make this happen. Uh, so Cruella is clearly not happening. I got to come up with all new shows and things. Uh, tombstone. No. Well, I do have tomb, <laughs> but I definitely don't have stone. Uh, yeah. Oh, that would. Oh, there's not enough red anyway. I don't even have enough red here. Okay, should we get discard stuff? No, maybe I gotta survive this round and deal with one alliterati so I can get more letters. Um, okay, let's see, we got bull. Well, I did like tomb. Um, null, okay, null is good. I need to use this A, or I can put the A in the library, that way you can't possibly be gotten rid of. Um, now, nay, that's, I think it's, a, is it any Y? No, I'm pretty sure it's N-A-Y. No, but now I still have too many letters. Uh, ooh, cull, hey, that's that's like a, Mike original right there. <laughs> um, and then, jeez. Ah, okay, okay. Um, bum, boom, bounty. <laughs> Spelled wrong. Um, count, count. Okay, that's better. Oh, there we go. That's three extra letters. Okay, count. Count, call, and nay. Nay, count, call. I will not count my calls, good sir. And bim is not a word. All right, we're stopping there. Timer. Yeah, I guess you're more than halfway, so we'll just let you run. And let's see. I've got three of the five types out already, so yep, good chance of getting a double, I was going to say. So for the upcoming round, whoever wants to bind a book must also discard an additional four-letter word. Okay, so that's uh, not the worst thing in the world, although I would need an extra four-letter word. And if you have words with two or more of the same letter, discard two letters from any of your words. All right. Uh, and I do with call. Darn you, call. You got me. Um, I mean, I'm still like <laughs> sort of entertaining ideas of getting Cruella again. Let's get rid of this extra C and this extra N. OK. All right. I got 10 letters and let's get them organized. Good. I got a few reds. I mean, barely enough, but just barely. So as we wait for time to run out, remember, I need to get uh, not only this, but also an extra four letter word to discard if I want to complete my first book and stop being an embarrassment <laughs> to English teachers everywhere. All right, so here we go. Um, all right. Shows, shows, shows. Um, <laughs> uh, mage? Must be a movie, right? In the movie they called Mage. <laughs> I just making that up. <laughs> uh, theater production. Um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Um, Utini on the Bounty. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, I do have Bounty. That's pretty cool. Um, is there a show or movie called Bounty? I don't remember one. Can't actually do Mutiny, can I? No, of course not. Um, <laughs> uh, Maul? Is that a sh Maul Flanders? Is that a thing? <laughs> Am I just making these up? Uh, the Punisher. Punis. The Punis. The Punis. The Punic Wars. Uh, <laughs> God, this is embarrassing. Um, okay. Uh, oh, I do a Punic. There we go. Um, so I got some good words. And then Gus. That's not a word. <laughs> Gis. Gis. Uh, Sig. It's like a type of gun, right? Uh, sugar. Okay. Um, malls. Is that actually malls? There we go. Like mulled wine or something. Okay. So I'm safe, 
I don't know what the heck the words to make for movies, TV shows, or theater productions. Uh, like all that's in my head is like Rent. Or what was the other one with the Jonathan Larson story that I just watched recently? That was a good movie um, that I can't remember. Tick, tick, boom. That's way too many words. Um, yeah, I don't even have a K. <sighs> okay. Um, Sorcerer, not Mage. Sorcerer is a good movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to stop there. <laughs> unless we drew another one of her. So discard two letters unless you have two purple. Discard two letters unless you have two orange. Um, I mean, yeah, we definitely have all that, so we're fine. And then discard two letters with icons after that. So, pfft, I don't know. I mean, I've got these words, so I guess I O and I. I'll keep that random G. This is why I hate the red books. You'll see in probably a second how I demolish the blue books. But yeah, these red ones, just like remembering titles. I don't know why I'm so bad at it. Okay, uh, we're going to try to go again. We're already getting a lot of those literati. Okay, um, Dune. Dune, do we have any? We have one E? Oh my gosh. All right, but Dune is a book and a movie, and none of those are red. None of those are red. This is not a helpful one. Um, and then like, what's another four letter? Title because right, I need yeah, eight letters and three red. Um uh, I don't know. So let me get the letters that are red, see if they <laughs> give me any ideas. Um huh. Okay, okay, like short titles. Um I don't know. Let's see. Uh Dune Tune. Tommy Tune. Uh do 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 do. Oh, man. Um, okay. So, oh, I, that, that's good. At least I did realize that I have a red uh, U. So, um, movies, TV shows. Taken. Take. Ooh, oh, I don't have E. More than one E. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to trade in. Too many L's. Get out of here. We're gonna trade in, I don't know, too many U's. Three, we're gonna trade in Y's or hard. Although I've got bounty. Well, no, I don't have bounty because I just got rid of all my. Okay, so I'll get rid of a Y. Trading in letters. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get rid of all these. That's seven. That's the max you can discard. I'm getting seven more. And okay, we got taken. We got more than enough. All right, so now, once again, we just gotta survive. Uh, crud. There's a lot of letters. Okay, taken and doing. Get out of here. Bout. Oh, that's actually a word. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, got a J. Just okay. Russ, Russ, pus. Okay, pus. Great. Um, and oh god, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to lose my my chance to bind again. Uh, boar, boars. Okay, and um, okay. A lot of eyes. A lot of eyes. I don't love eyes. Whim. Is that how you spell it? Rim. That's a word. Okay, and. Oh gosh, please. <laughs> oh, I got an A. I got an A. Um, okay. Uh can't even fit everything. Gak wag wag wag. No, 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 it's still too much. Um jive. No. <laughs> Come on. J J uh, um come on <laughs> like <laughs> oh I was like witnessing a mental breakdown um <sighs> okay okay it's still wag um come on come on come on come on no 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 time no time don't don't oh my gosh <laughs> all right so I've heard again I've heard again uh, the eye is gone the rest of these are gone and uh, Okay, I gotta draw two, don't I? Okay, so first one, which does chain. Oh, actually, I actually haven't drawn him yet. Anyone who has a three letter word must discard two letters from any of their words. Okay, that part's easy. Um, Taken a dune, stay over there. Remember, I cannot bind those because I burned. Um, I don't know. Let's get rid of like P P U. And then second, get the second card that can't chain. For the upcoming round, any player can have a max of five words. If they have more than five words, when time is up, they must discard three words. Uh, I mean, okay, yeah, that's probably going to happen, but that's that's okay. Okay, it's bouts. All right, uh, well, that's fine. Let's go. Oh, I need to get more letters. What am I doing? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
mean, I kind of want to discard all these extra words because I have too many letters. There we go. Okay. So let's try to move all these up that are already okay. Uh, lil lilt lilt. Sure, that's a word. And then Meyer. That's a word. And then Nur is not a word, but that can be my library. Okay, awesome. So we're just stopping the timer right now. Okay, so we're turning and taking a doom. Before anyone can destroy us, we automatically discard those. We flip over our first book, we'll get a blue book. Like I said, these are usually easier. Homophones. Okay, two words that sound similar but are spelled differently, and they get up to six letters. Those are two three-letter words that sound the same, like I can't think of any three-letter examples, but <laughs> four-letter examples. Uh, okay, we, we can do that. But then, remember, we got to get rid of uh, three words. Okay. Uh, lilt and wag. I'm trying to keep my bigger words and rim. Then we also do a new one. Oh, man, really? Scourge of the Seven Seas. Each player has at least one C. Must repeat the effect of this card exactly one more time. Each player must break up two of their words and create one new word using those letters. Any extra letters are discarded. Um, I don't have any C's. Oh, okay, so if I had a C, I'd have to do it twice, but I do have to do it once. And then also, if I have a three-letter word, I discard any two letters, and then also I can't have more than five letters. Okay, so, geez. All right, so I got to break up two words and make them into a new word. Um, okay, so routes, right? Um, yeah, all right, fine. And I also have to discard two letters. Um, I have a lot of... Well, you do want... If I'm doing homophones, I probably want some similar letters. So we'll go to the U and the B. Okay, and then I got the whole thing about not having too many words. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to do that blue thing pretty quick this time, hopefully. And wow, would you look at this. <laughs> A's and H's. The wild is nice, but give me a break. Okay, homophones, homophones, homophones. Uh, uh, I can't think of any three letter ones, so I don't know what the point of the six plus is. I just feel like I'm gonna have to do the final chapter one and do like two four letter words. Um, so, uh, uh, gosh, okay. So maybe I shouldn't have bragged about these being easier. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. Raise and raise, but I don't have any of those kind of letters. I mean, I have some of them, but yeah, like raise, R-A-Z-E, and then like R-A-I-S, E. Again, clearly missing a lot of things I could use. Is there anything else? Uh, do, 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 do. About like hair and hair. I don't have any eyes. Well, hair. And, oh, actually, wait. Actually, wait. All my A's, A's and H's pay off. So hair, right? H-A-R-E, like a rabbit, H-A-I-R. Okay, now it's gotta survive by making other words. Um, tan and roost. Nope. <laughs> uh, poo. Awesome. Mike's making me great words here. And then ranch. Uh, ran. Oh, ran. Never mind. Oh, and then I just have three S's in my library. Oh, then that'd be five letters. And uh, the dude would blow some of those. Because I make Stan. Um, I don't know if I can get away with only three uh, words or four words, I mean. Um, so, p pants. Okay. Pants. Oh, actually, there we go. I'm almost there now. And rans? No, that would not be a word. <laughs> Runs. Sun, sons, sons. Okay, there we go. Now I've only got four words instead of five, so pirate dude is not gonna hurt me. And yeah, we'll stop there. So hair and hair, boom, boom, boom. That completes another book. And I get to pick red or blue, definitely doing blue for my final. So I need two five letter words, exactly five letters, only one vowel in the middle of each word. And all players must choose a different vowel because you have to like each do this. So, Wait, how does that work? All players must choose a different vowel, so can I not use the same vowel in the middle of each word? Well, whatever, we'll see how it goes. But the second I do this, I win. So we'll put that over there this time. We do have to draw a new alliterati. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I got a four Pete here. I still haven't gotten like the little engineer lady. Okay, anyone who has a four letter word must discard two letters from any of their words. Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, it's gonna hit me if I have a two letter word in a second. So let's get rid of the S and the N. I mean, not two-letter, three-letter word. Yes, yeah, so a three-letter, I don't have one. 
And then I can't have more than five words. Oh, and then I got to break up two words. And then, wait, how does that work if I only have one word? I feel like maybe I'm missing the rule here about like how, the, okay. By the way, I guess I'll just like break up. Well, no, if I only have one word, I'm going to assume that I don't do anything. I don't know. I'm just keeping those letters. We'll see how it goes. All right, so here's my 10 letters. Um, okay, so Grant only has one vowel in the middle. And um, Storm, no, I don't have an M. Why well, don't I have an M? Uh, okay, St Storn. <laughs> um, Thorn, uh, Storp. Uh, the good old storps of my youth. Okay, uh, that's not working. So I still think ST and like R something is a good way to go here. Can't do stare. Um, well, here, I, I could uh, trade it up to seven letters. So we'll do uh, four, five, six, seven, and try to get like something that works with that. That's five, and six, seven. Oh my gosh, why is it all these? Okay. Um, Dang it. Does this not help me at all? I don't think it does. Uh, okay, well, let's see. DR, maybe that'll work. Dr, dra, dro, droop. No, that'd be two. Okay. Trots. <laughs> trots? Do I have, yes. Okay, trots. Okay, okay. All we gotta do, all we gotta do is survive. All we gotta do is survive. Um, pond and f. Uh, panda? No. Oh gosh. D -d 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 day. No. Uh, fade. It's not how you spell it. Crud, crud, crud. Why do I have so many vowels? And I can't trade in again. Uh, okay, maybe pond is not the way to go. Um, hmm. Panda? Yes. Okay. Okay, I don't know if I've made anything better. F da. Doff. No, I need two Fs for that. Diff. Doif. Dio, like from uh, Jota's Bizarre Adventures, but no. Uh, oh, wait, but Dio is... No, that's a foreign language, right? Um, fid? Fid? Diff? Doff? Ah, crud. Crud, 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 crud. Frantic? No. I don't want to mess up those words. Okay, but I got Panda. I got Panda. Come on. Come on, Mike. Um. Gosh, gosh, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give up and burn one more time and hope that they don't kill me with their powers. Okay, so I'm getting rid of one of these. I'm one from losing everybody. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, come on, get the lady we haven't gotten yet. No, no, no. Okay, discard two letters. Okay, so I'm gonna discard two letters for each combo of colors I don't have. Two reds, two orange, two green, no, two purple. And then I got to get rid of two things that have letters. All right, so I'm just going to uh, <laughs> totally like uh, steal from Panda. I'll keep the A. Okay, now I'm going to get 10 new letters. I still have the words I actually need. I just need to actually survive with everything else this turn. All right, so here we go. Let's get trots and grants out of the way. Just need to make some words. Okay, um, and I can I can trade in once. Got a ton of A's. So many A's. Um, okay. So, uh, save, and I mean, I don't know if I should use two uh, consonants already. <sighs> fay, um, yeah, I mean, I have, well, fay, right? Like the uh, fairies, yeah. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna trade all four of these in, see what happens. Okay, okay, are you a word? Are you a word? Mob, you're a word. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Boom, boom. Got my final book. I uh, don't even have to do the alliterati. It's honestly probably a good thing because man, oh man, they had a lot of stuff going on. But that was alliterati. Uh, hang on if you want to hear my thoughts about the game and I'll try to calm down a little. So first thing I'll say is that I both love and hate <laughs> making words into time pressure. Now you can play on easy mode and just like not use the timer, of course, but I do think the game is better with the timer. I think that that tension is kind of where some of the hilarity and energy and tension come from. I just said tension twice, I think. But uh, yeah, I think the timer does add something fun to the game. I'll be 100% honest that I am pretty terrible at games like Scrabble. Um, 
I like games like Letter Jam, where I'm very limited in the words I can make. When I have too many letters, I just kind of freeze. Um, so yeah, you know, like this, this is maybe not the ideal game for my skill set, but I think the time pressure can be fun. Of course, it's going to be annoying for some people. So, you know, just keep that in mind. I also love the fact that I can do this solo, you know, that I can just like lay this down. And I'll be totally honest, solo is my favorite way to play or two player. And here's the reason why you can share any letters between each other, which sometimes this is one of my main complaints about the game. In some of my multiplayer sessions, it has felt like I don't really own anything like you know, we just kind of have a giant pool and sometimes we'll just lay down all our letters and be like, here's what I got. And um, like, just kind of like figure out words as though we have this one giant kind of collection. And then like even who owns the words doesn't always matter, except when you're trying to solve your books. So there is like a little bit of awkwardness in the higher player count games I've played with. That might just be a group dependent thing. I don't know. But yeah, with one and two player, I've loved it because it's limited enough. Two player is kind of like uh, trading letters back and forth between each other. Again, it kind of potentially goes back to my feeling like I'm not <laughs> able to identify words when the letters get to be too much. And uh, yeah, just like three plus players kind of does that for me, but uh, might not do it for you. As for the books, I think these are pretty fun. I will be, again, totally honest. I suck at the red books. Like, I'm just terrible at them. And I've heard this from a few other people, so I'm glad to say it's not just me. But for some reason, when it's like, give me a holiday, I freeze 100%. And it's like, I guess it's so limited that I feel like the letters I get, it's just very tough for me to get words. Now, it's fine, because as you saw, the game just kind of lets you survive until you eventually can get something going on. But yeah, I definitely like the blue books a lot better, because I feel like with them, I can pretty much always make something happen. You know, I can like always figure something out. The reds are more challenging, but I think the game's flexible enough you could probably just play blue books or just play red books if your uh, group kind of leaned that way and you still have enough variety and you still be uh, you know, building different words every time that it would still be okay. As for the literati, I think they're all right. I mean, I, I like the fact that you have something messing with you so you can't just kind of slowly build your way to success. They can be frustrating. It can be a little bit annoying to resolve a lot of effects. Some of their effects are, you know, kind of hold over into the next turn, which is both cool, but also can be frustrating. Um, I, I do like that. Now, I'm not really playing at this level, but I recognize the fact that they give you some strategy sometimes. Like you might know that you don't want to use any three-letter words in case the captain gets activated again, or you don't want to... I have a letter, you know, a word with uh, two of the same letter in case this guy activates again. So they sort of make some things more dangerous. Again, I'm not good enough at the game to play at that level, but I appreciate that it exists. And again, they have an easier variant where you don't have to do the chains, where no matter what, you always just resolve one card. I think that's a really nice option, especially when I played with my son, like with the addition of not using the timer, giving them two timer flips, and also only drawing one alliterati. It meant that their words got messed up less often. But yeah, the alliterati... <laughs> I can sort of take or leave. Uh, I think it's good to have the opposition. I think they add some strategy to the game, but also they mess up your words. And that's, you know, potentially, especially if you worked really hard to get them, a uh, frustrating thing to happen. So yeah, overall, I think you might want to check out Illiterati if you like word games, if you like Scrabble. Uh, I think this one could be a hit, especially if you want to be able to play that kind of game uh, solo or cooperatively. But if you think your mind's going to go blank the second that you're asked to come up with certain things, I think that could be a challenge. Um, if you're worried about the potential frustration of the illiterati hitting you, that might be a no-go for this game. So you just have to kind of uh, look at it, see if my play seemed funny and entertaining or uh, painful to you. <laughs> and maybe that'll help you make your own decision if you decide to check out late backing the game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good gaming, and I'll see you at the next stop.